I am Mahesh and I am senior test automation architect with 14 plus years of experience in software test automation. Uh, I got approved one patent and second in the queue. Uh, in my current role, uh, I explore new technologies and tools in the market, introduce them to our test processes and bring value to the organization. Also providing technical automation practices, so their architecture, defining strategic direction for testing, and serving as an expert in defining and rolling a standard automation framework. So I worked on a, uh, different technologies and uh, so the technologies like I worked on the functional wave automation with Selenium uh, using Java, C Sharp, Python. I worked on API automation using REST Azure. I worked on mobile automation using Appium and Java. I worked on load and performance testing. I worked on IoT, uh, the devices, the hardware automation as well. So about uh, uh, the things that uh, I like to do some of the social work. So where I help near about 1500 plus people to learn automation. And out of those 800 already got an opportunity in the renowned organization. And from my personal, I have a son of year five. And uh, uh, in my education, I did my B in computers and uh, MBA in international business as well as IT. So, Let's move to the uh, BJD or to the approach. So a very high level approach. I, I wanted to mention you how automation testing approach change from the phase one to the phase five. Okay. So in, in year 2002, three, four, that time, uh, the first was the record and play. So record and play is otherwise known as a basic automation and is a way uh, to run your test without a programming knowledge. So this was done using some of the tool uh, that time like RFT, uh, QTP, they just allow you to do the record and play and all those. And you can just allows you to manually perform actions in the browser and save them as your test, automated test. You can then take this test and rerun it with the click, making regression or browsing testing uh, or browser testing your indefinitely faster because you just record and you just execute that. A record and play is the just a basic startup solution for test automation and the value is most prominent for teams uh, that are still transitioning from mostly manual testing to include some of the automation in order to uh, speed up their testing okay so in record and play it may not be the ideal solution of your uh, automation for your team because uh, there are a huge maintenance in record and play due to the regular changes in your application or in your css then comes your code test execution. In the code test execution, it supports your record and playback where they focus mostly on testers. Like, uh, I mean, they, they have their first, uh, I mean, the approach where they concentrated on the tester and that tool like QTP, they allow this. So in QTP, you can do the record and play. You can write your own scripts as well. It uses an active screen to record scripts and helps tester to referring the screen object properties. So both technical as well as uh, uh, a non-technical testers are involved into this. So when uh, the desktop, of, uh, okay, so that time the focus was the desktop application automation, but uh, due to this code test execution, they turned to the web-based application automation also. From there, we just move towards that approach. And mostly uh, if you, you, most of you are aware that uh, data-driven, keyword-driven, and hybrid-driven design patterns are introduced within that time. So a uh, basic language is used like VBScript and all. Then comes your open source automation where uh, your Selenium comes into the picture. And in this era, they just focus on your tester as well as developer both. In terms of open source, it refers to something people can modify and share um, because its design is publicly accessible. So that where automation tools or libraries are open, customized and used. So all your code base is available for you to change to do the changes. Then Selenium uses uh, your web driver uh, for Chrome in order to test commands and process the web pages and get the data you need. Here, again, I'm telling you here, the focus is on developer and tester both. Though it supports multiple languages, so any developer can write uh, their test into a language they are comfortable into. Let's say they develop any of the application in Java, C Sharp, .NET, any um, technology, they can just write their test 
uh, basic test into the languages they prefer. Now, so you all are aware, like uh, in the open source automation, Selenium comes into the picture. You all are know Selenium WebDriver, uh, then WebDriver 2, 3, and now WebDriver 4. So all those are uh, the era of this open source automation. Then comes your uh, TDD, that is test driven development. In TDD, completely it turns a traditional development around. Uh, when you first go to the implement a new feature, the first question that always we ask is whether the existing design is the best design possible that enables you to implement that functionality. That means if I have whatever the design is available, is that the best that we can, uh, uh, I mean, automate? So you proceed via, via the TFD. TFD is test first development. So in TDD, we use TFD, that is test first development approach. So you refactor it locally to change the portion of design and affected by the new future. It enabling you to add that feature as easy as possible. As a result, uh, let's say you will always be improving the quality of your design and thereby making it easier to work with uh, the same design in the future. Uh, instead of writing a, a functional code first and then your testing code as an uh, afternoon, then if you write it all, you instead write your test code before your functional code. That's where uh, the TDD is uh, introduced. And it will help you, a TDD approach uh, help you to identify everything at first level so how it starts so uh, it it says write automated test first then you execute then it fails then write your development code then execute automated test and then your test is passed and the finally any changes you want to do you can just refactor your test that is what your test driven approach says in this, uh, there is acceptance TDD also, that is called ATDD. So uh, TDD is test driven development, acceptance TDD is acceptance test driven development. With ATDD, um, you write a single acceptance test or behavioral specification. Like I am again repeating, uh, it is a behavioral uh, specification depending <clears throat> on your preferred terminology. And then just enough production functionality or code to fulfill that test. The goal of ATDD is to specify detailed executable requirements for your solution. Uh, but again, ATDD is nothing but uh, called as a PDD, that is behavioral driven development. So last phase is your behavioral driven development. There is further phases also ongoing currently. So in PDD, uh, it is called a behavioral driven testing, is an extension of your TDD, which I already said it is ATDD. Uh, in TDD, in BDD, also we write test first and the add application code. And the major difference that we get uh, here are the tests are written in plain descriptive English type grammar, or we said a plain Gherkin language. Here we are shifting uh, our thinking from test to behavior. That means before in the test driven development, we are thinking about test. Now we are thinking about the behavior. And and we, we have collaboration between business stakeholders, uh, then business analysts, QA team, developers, project managers, and everyone um, uh, are involved into the test uh, behavioral driven development. We are going to use the Cucumber as a testing framework, which supports your BDD, and it lets you define application behavior in plain meaningful English test. As I've mentioned, it is uh, a plain Gherkin language. Cucumber itself is written in a Ruby. So the framework Cucumber is written in the language Ruby, but it can be used as a test code written in Ruby. Okay, and you can write including multiple languages like Java, C Sharp and Python also. Most of the time client has some requirement which can be communicated to a product owner or business analyst. Why BDD comes? So it can be communicated to your product owner and business analyst. As they understood they, that requirement, they communicate to the project lead, project manager, Sometimes it is near about 60 to 80 percent and further goes to the developer near about 30 to 40 percent. Once they develop the product and uh, it's, it's a bit difficult to, to understand what exactly the client requirement and what we deliver. So that's why in the behavioral driven development, we sit all together like tester, developer, test managers, scrum master, product owner, and then we identify uh, your requirement in the agile. Basically, mostly we are using a behavioral driven development. 
again in pdd uh, there is a new era going on that is ai that is artificial intelligence implementation in the pdd where your whole maintenance comes into the picture and which we can manage so i will explain you what uh, bdd says so if you can see on uh, my screen there are the multiple roles and one platform is what bdd says when i say multiple roles and one platform that means if i am a scrum master or if i am a product owner i just uh, create a business component that means if i am a non technical user i just uh, create a business component and a defined flow and i created that a uh, scenarios or a test cases in form of a plain durkin language and i run those test cases with the manual testing then provide it to your technical user like your automated testers those automated testers can take that create their test data parameterize create their um, test that means automated test based on that then debug then mint and then execution and provide all your final output so that x the graphical report which you are providing again that is a non technical user can take this so if you can see this is whole cycle where we are involving each one of the uh, participant like your developer your testers your business analyst product owner and regularly we demo this so that everyone will be on the same page this is how bdd approach says so where we involve both your non technical as well as technical users so this is a very high level information about bdd so i am going to show you how, how we are going to work on the bdd with cucumber framework and with java okay so now so i, I simply close this okay and i open my eclipse so uh, so you all know uh, there is there is a uh, eclipse is nothing but your uh, id which you can use for writing your tests okay so i am going to write my test into eclipse let me uh, before that i'll explain something so let me tell you i said bdd it's worked on a uh, gherkin language okay so it says so another name to bdd is gwt when we say gwt it is nothing but a uh, given when and then so gwt so given is nothing but my precondition when we say given it is nothing but my precondition when i say when it is nothing but my action and when i say then it is nothing but my expected so if you can remember this terminology pdd worked on gherkin language it works on the approach gwt that is given when then given is nothing but my precondition when is nothing but my action then is nothing but my expected results then we can start writing our code okay so so before that uh, i would like to show you if you not having a cucumber on your system then you just go to your eclipse marketplace then you can search here cucumber so i'll show you just give me a second so you just okay okay once you search here cucumber it will give you the cucumber library okay this is cucumber eclipse plugin okay so if you can see cucumber karkin jvm cucumber plugins attdd is everything mentioned into this plugin so you just need to click on install here and you will have cucumber on your eclipse so this is the plugin which you need to install before you start your cucumber i repeat again go to help from eclipse marketplace go to search click on uh, uh, click on find type cucumber click on search and you will find cucumber eclipse plugin this plugin will help you to write your cucumber 
uh, files that means cucumber feature files so this will help you to execute your bdd ex uh, bdd um, teams okay so you can just install this most of the people says uh, rather than cucumber i can install natural so natural is also okay but i would suggest you can go with the cucumber first rather than a natural once you install if you already install if you are not aware where where i can find it is already installed you can go to your install and you will see how many other plugins that you have installed on your um, eclipse eclipse id so you'll see the list of installed plugins over here okay so now i close this okay so if you can see already i have installed this cucumber plugin my link test engine and all of this so now i repeat one more thing so in bdd same way like i, I we have see just now in the same way we have a feature file and we have a definition file. So feature file and a definition file. Feature file is your plain Kirkin language. Again, Kirkin language is where you use your GWT. Plain Kirkin language where you use your GWT. And the definition file is your a Java code or a definition of each step mentioned into your feature file so these two things you need to remember so we need to mostly work on feature file and a definition file so in interview also people may ask you bdd approach on which it works so it works on gwt that is given when and then and it has a two important component that is feature and a definition file so feature holds your gherkin language plain english gwt where definition file hold your java code or a definition of each step mentioned into your feature file okay so now i go back and i am going to create my new java project so i will mention this bdd session i mentioned this as a bdd session click finish if you can see i have a bdd session from uh, bdd session here okay I'll let me delete this i guess it is running my by default one okay so okay so bdd tutorial i i'll show you if i do have okay yes so bdd tutorial which comes here now my project is bdd tutorial where by default in java we can get your src that is your source folder as well as your java that is jre java runtime environment which will help you to run your java code so i can create a new folder within this a bdd tutorial that is the name is uh, features or a feature file or let's a feature i have that folder feature in the src i can create a new package uh, so i said we need to manage two things one is step definition and one is the feature file so let's create a step def package so if you can see i have feature i have step def. so one thing we just miss so once you write step definition you just need to run step definition and feature file that is called a runner or you can say a, we are using junit so i'll show you a junit runner class we are going to add so we can run our test from the junit test that is from junit class okay so that is nothing but your test runner class where we are mentioning some of the or we are adopting some of the cucumber help okay now before so i have created this gherkin language i have created this definition i have created this now to work on cucumber you need some of the libraries third party so third party library will help you to work on the cucumber 